Hi everyone and welcome to Chef Din's cooking tutorials. Here I'm going to show you how to prepare your ingredients, mix your spices and then cook the dish. So before we start, please pause the video now and get all the ingredients ready you require to make this dish. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now because then you'll get notified when I post new videos. And uh, so let's not waste any more time and let's cook. But before we do uh, start to cook, it's very important that we get everything ready before we start. When I started uh, cooking these curries for my series, I had to uh, spend good three hours getting the base gravy ready, uh, getting the onions ready uh, and the chicken and all the other bits we need to create all different types of curries. And uh, most importantly as well, we need to get our onions ready as well. There's three types of onions what we use in uh, this style of cooking. And that is one, the bolti onions. I, I call them bolti onions because they are small. And it's what I used when I was making my bolties uh, back in the 80s uh, in the restaurant. So we need to get the bolti onions ready. We also need to get the buna onions ready and the du piazza onions ready. The du piazza onions are mostly used in the du piazza dish and also in jalfre. So they are like just boiled and cooked for about, uh, I think about three or four minutes and that's it, you turn it off. And uh, also the buna onions, which is uh, boiled and cooked for about 10 minutes then you turn it off. And th then you have everything basically ready to start your curries. And all the recipes for the onions uh, you find in the descriptions, I'll leave a link. But also, you most important as well, you need the, the mixed spice. I create my own mixed spice. This is what I used in uh, my restaurant. So it's very simple to make. So get this ready and then we're all ready to go, basically. Uh, if uh, you have any queries or any uh, questions, please do not hesitate to ask in uh, the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, as soon as possible and uh, if I can I will uh, give you the information you need. So uh, let's not waste any more time now and start cooking our curries. Hi everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Chef Din and today I'm going to cook you one of my favorites a chicken rogan. Rogan is a really rich and lovely dish you have to try this. In the early days this was one of the few uh, curries on the menu like the rogan, the dansak, the kurma, uh, the malayan uh, and vendaloo silon fowl. There wasn't any other curries on the menu in the old days, the old days meaning in the 70s. Anyway, uh, put a good uh, four tablespoons of oil because we need the oil to give a rich texture. So you can take the oil out at the end just by uh, lifting the frying pan up and uh, just scooping the oil out. Anyway, there goes half a spoon of my bolty onions, which is the pre-cooked onions, and then the tom tomatoes. We put green peppers in as well. All the ingredients you find at the beginning of the video, just pause the video, write down everything you need, get everything ready before you start cooking. It makes life much easier. I've just put a little bit of salt to compensate the fresh tomato. I put roughly about 120 grams of tomatoes in this uh, curry, uh, and that is our base. Rogan is quite tomatoey, and it gives the curry a nice rich flavor. I'm also going to add uh, my tomato sauce, which I've made uh, up with uh, plum tomatoes, and then cooked it down a little, uh, where it's nice and rich with uh, garlic uh, and the spices and so on. Uh, you'll find uh, everything you need to know in uh, the description and on my channel. So make sure uh, you cook uh, the base uh, and uh, the pre-cooked items you need to create this dish because all my curries have a balance that includes in the base, including the tomato what I just cooked, including the chicken, including the base gravy. Everything, once you put it together, it creates the dish, which is absolutely delicious. So uh, I've just added uh, uh, the chicken as well. So uh, then the, goes in the mixed powder. The mixed powder you'll find also uh, on uh, the description page. Uh, and uh, 
you can mix it up yourself, it's very simple. Uh, this is the powder we used to use in the restaurant. Uh, also, Meti goes in fresh coriander. Rogan is a really lovely dish. Uh, we used to sell lots of Rogans uh, because, as you can see, it's so lovely to uh, cook. It's uh, really rich in flavour and taste. And because uh, all my base gravy and everything else has lots of flavour, we're just kind of amplifying the flavours in our dish. So uh, add the, the gravy now. And what we're going to do is basically uh, thicken it up until it's the right thickness before we're ready to serve. So I let this cook a little bit and I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, this is looking good. As you can see, we're getting a nice texture here now, and the oil is also uh, coming up a little bit uh, around the edges and that. That means this curry is nearly ready. So just keep giving it a stir and wait till it's the right thickness uh, for you. You can add uh, maybe half a teaspoon of chili powder if you like in this, uh, just to give a nice flavor uh, with the tomatoes. Uh, I usually like it like Madras heat, uh, this dish, so it's entirely up to you, otherwise just leave it as it is, it's really enjoyable. Right, as you can see now, the oil is uh, starting to appear and that means this curry is nearly ready to serve. So uh, get a nice dish together to put your curry and serve it. As soon as you uh, plate it up, serve it because it's uh, really nice, just hot curry with hot rice. Don't let it, let it sit, uh, just serve it up and uh, enjoy. And remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it helps the channel to grow and please tell your friends because they need to know how to cook really lovely uh, restaurant style curries I have loads of traditional curries as well uh, on my channel so check those out as well well now we are ready to serve we're going to serve in a nice curry dish and uh, enjoy so thanks for watching please let me know in the comments what you think about this rogan dish and if you enjoy it and uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now and take care and uh, happy cooking.